welcome back everyone to another segment of the MCR. In this segment, we're going to talk about uh, a female comedian who is not without controversy. And I wouldn't even claim that she's a true friend to the conservative right. Uh, but I've, I've kind of elected to adopt the the enemy of my enemy is my friend uh, position here, you know, and 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 that's Roseanne Barr. OK. Uh, and I think where I really soured on Roseanne and this goes back to 1990 when she did that horrible rendition of the national anthem, the San Diego Padres game. And in and and I had heard about it and I just kind of did a little quick research on it just to make sure. And I guess it was uh, part of what was a double header. And for the second game of the double header was when she did her rendition. And, you know, amazingly enough, some people cheered, but you could hear a whole lot of booing in the crowd uh, by the time her rendition had ended. I guess it included uh, her grabbing her crotch and spitting on the ground, too. I, I yeah, think she that did was, that after people started to boo. Yeah. Uh, I, I, For the life of me, I don't know what prompted that decision of having her do the national anthem. Well, I, just, I don't know what the hell was going through their minds. Yeah, it was. Well, it's another bad decision. Somebody thought it would be cute, and it went, went south on them. They should have known better, but they didn't. Yeah, well, <clears throat> uh, R Roseanne Barr, she uh, she has teamed up with uh, with a company, an online company called Public Square, and I guess Public Square, I, I don't, I've never really done business with them, but from what I've been able to read about them online, uh, their their claim to fame is they're an anti woke retail policy. Uh, and and so she's teamed up with Public Square, and they and they and this is in the early stages of uh, them figuring out exactly what they're going to do here. But the you know she she's gonna she's gonna have shows on Twitter X, and and, and I think and this wasn't necessarily said in any article, but I gotta wonder if maybe you know. If, if Tucker Carlson can do extended political shows on Twitter X, then in theory, uh, anyone could do an extended type of show on Twitter X. Well, our uh, videos are there. Every yeah, day. but I guess what I'm saying is, is if Tucker can do a 30 to 60 minute uh, video on Twitter X, why not a comedy video? Why not a comedy show? Sure. You know, I, I mean, it's a show is a show. You know whatever the content may be okay and uh uh basically uh oh you know her her comment was uh, she did a video she t she put a video on twitter and she says hi it's roseanne barr and i'm excited to be partnering with public square to use a free speech platform like twitter to do a show where comedy is legal again and I, I guess I guess the, the last part of that where comedy is legal again, I, wasn't it Seinfeld who once said he couldn't do routines on college campuses anymore because the woke crowd would would take too easily take offense to whatever he was kind of joking about, you know? Well, their successful show was nothing but being offensive. Yeah. Their TV show. Um uh, Roseanne Barr would also later on tweet, I couldn't be more excited to start a show right here on X. Uh, let's see, at Elon Musk has said that comedy is legal on his site. We will certainly be taking advantage of that. Thank you to Ad Office Square for standing up for the First Amendment. Uh, then she also tweeted, uh, it's a great way for people to fight back against totalitarianism. Uh, well, it is certainly you know, that. And, and like I said, you know, Roseanne isn't without controversy. I wouldn't say I'm an avid fan of hers by any means, though, though she has done, you know, funny routines in the past. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm, so, I'm not a fan in any way. I, I didn't like her show because I thought it promoted, not revealed, but promoted uh, dysfunctional families as being cool. Well, yeah, uh, can't dispute that. But uh, it's it's just interesting that uh, uh, you know she's she's doing this to stand up to the uh, uh, the uh, uh, woke crowd, we'll say, uh, because right now right now it doesn't sound like they like her much. No, of course so, not. She's got uh, to stand against them, and they don't like anybody who stands against them. And. Uh, for for a woman, she's pretty ballsy, I guess. Yeah, maybe that's what she was grabbing. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's all I got. Uh, re really, not much here other than uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, and and I'll adopt that uh, in regards to this whole situation. Okay. Well, I've I've been using that philosophy for for a while now, and uh, if it takes uh, someone as crude as her to help fight back against the woke crowd, well, uh, I guess that makes me a Machiavellianist uh, of some sort. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, that, that that's all we got for this one. And uh, thanks, everyone, for your support. And uh, we'll see what goes on with this whole Donald Trump thing. As always, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me. <laughs>